What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more main assembly and today we're gonna jump right into it I want to finish the rest of the logistics challenges You might notice these are locked and in fact the devs did an update which kind of affected the progression system a little bit Forcing you to unlock some parts and kind of beat each level in sequence And so I had to actually go back and rebeat all of these levels So before that happens again, I want to get through the rest of the logistics challenges and I'm kind of excited because I built an awesome new forklift and I think this new forklift really is just going to make the difference. It's so good. I took all your guys' suggestions. You can see here I made it completely out of metal. I also made it without suspension. We've got just motors here and motors here and servos here but uh, unfortunately there is one issue with the forklift. You'll notice some of these parts are red and uh, that's because with the new progression system we don't have them unlocked. So, first thing we need to do is modify this forklift because obviously uh, this is this is just not going to work for us. So, uh, first I guess we'll just delete this cabin piece because we don't really have one of those, unfortunately. Now, the whole forklift is metal, so that should be great. We'll delete all this. So, we'll have to put probably just the standard suspension steering on the back. I'm a little disappointed. It took me so long to carve this out perfectly in such a way when the wheel turns with the servo it doesn't actually interfere with this at all but anyways it doesn't really matter um this we should be able to replace with some other motors so let's just pull in see we've got the medium motors but those were large motors and we don't have those unlocked so we should be able to just put medium motors there and of course the same wheels i believe no problem dual medium wheels so that should be good and then on the back unfortunately I, I really wanted to use servos because, you know, you can do steering without having to have anything uh, with suspension. And uh, unfortunately, we only have hinges and this is the servo we need, but we don't have that unlocked yet. So I think we're just going to have to use these drive motors, maybe the medium ones or the large ones. How big is that? You know what? That fits. It kind of clips through the top. So this will give us steering, of course, by default, but uh, it also gives us suspension, which I'm not, you know, I'm not thrilled about. But it's okay. There we go. The wheels, do they they stick out a little bit? Yeah, you know what? They, they do, and they're a little low. I think this is going to be fine, though. I mean, this should do something, right? Oh, I actually... Hold on. I forgot to check the logic. Yeah, we have no... Yeah, we've got we've got no... Okay, we've got no logic. All right, part deleted, part deleted, part deleted, part deleted, part deleted. Fantastic. All right, well, we can delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Uh, we need the motors. So the medium motors uh, in the front... Those go by WS. The brake goes to the space bar. And then the other motor, drive motor, large alpha. These are the back ones. Again, power comes from the same W and S, so we can have four-wheel drive. Uh, and then we should be able to get brake, again, from the space bar. I found that brake is actually super, super useful in this game. The reverse is not nearly as powerful as braking, so that's kind of nice. Um, and, of course, it encourages you to actually use that brake function. And then... This all stays the same. This is, of course, that accumulating circuit to extend the two pistons. So I believe we should be okay now. And let's just make sure it all works. Of course, our steering is reversed, so that's not a problem. We can fix that easily enough. Um, there's two different ways to do this. We can just flip the axis. There we go. Perfect. And good to go. Turns. Turns. So uh, let's do this. We got to move eight boxes into the container. There's the container there. Deliver boxes to the house and find the missing present. All right. Well, let's just go find the missing present as a person first because I always forget that you could do that. And it's so much easier to just explore the map. Okay. Well, that's like that's got to be the missing present right there, right? All right. So let's just get back in our super epic forklift. Um, I will say I made the whole thing out of metal this time and it's so much easier to drive. It stays a lot more stable. It doesn't flip as easily. Uh, hold, oh, okay. Out of here. Um, how can I get this easily? Let's just, let's just loop around. I will say the servo system I had set up definitely had a better steering radius. Although I'm pretty sure with the suspension, I can adjust the steering angle as well. Um, but it's kind of unfortunate. You see how the, the back end's bouncing? We never had that when I was using the servo version, but hopefully I'll unlock it and I can start using the... Oh, whoa, that, that didn't look good. Hold on. Come here. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, hold on. No. I'm not very good at using a forklift. Oh, dear lord. Okay, up, up. 
Okay, let's put these boxes into the container. Do you are you supposed to drive backwards with forklift? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to drive forwards when you have a load, right? You're supposed to like tip the load back and drive forwards. I don't know what forklift regulation is to be perfectly honest. I should probably look that up cuz it might help in terms of driving this. I feel like this is working out well though. There we go. Eight boxes, drop this down. Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Excellent. All right, and then we'll just deliver that other set straight to the house. Now, of course, I know driving on grass is going to be difficult, so we're just going to have to slow down a lot. Here we go. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit so we can see this easier. Come here. Nope. That's not lined up. There we go. Perfect. Oh, awesome. I love this piston circuit. It's so useful to be able to just, you know, press one button and have it go to a set position, press another button and have it go to a different position. Really, really nice that the logic in this game is powerful and like you can use just a very few number of nodes and you can do a lot of stuff with this game. They've got a lot of logic that's sort of, you know, built in and doesn't force you to use binary for everything. So that's kind of nice. Um, all right, here we go. Deliver boxes to the house. Now, I remember style horror means like put here or something, right? It's something like that. Pretty sure last time I mentioned this, the comments told me it was like put here or place here. So I think that's where we're supposed to put. There we go. Okay. Check delivered boxes to the house. Also, I picked up that pickup and it didn't say I found the missing present. Is there no present? Or did I find it and the trigger doesn't work? Or is it that way over here? It's not the it's not these boxes on the island. That can't possibly be the hidden hidden present, right? Hold on, hold on. What's this? Oh, there's the hidden present. Ooh, that's sneaky. It's like half in the ground. Okay, that's gotta be it. Let's go back and get our truck. Okay, so that was just like a player pickup then. Easy mode, no problem. Let's uh, lift this up. Come here. There we go. This thing boogie is pretty cool. Oh boy. All right. Nice. Found the hidden present. No problem. Heading back. Just gotta try not to get killed here. That's exactly what we didn't want to do. I wonder if they're ever going to add a penalty for respawning. I feel like a lot of these challenges would be much more difficult if you couldn't respawn your vehicle. But there we go. Logistics 2, no problem. Uh, Logistics 3, can you lift the boxes down from the shelves? Think about the height. I mean, we've got a forklift that should be good to go. Move box in the container, don't hurt the dummies. Yeah, this should be easy. Oh my goodness, there is a holy cow, that's a lot of shelves. Well, we have to move 8. And we can't hurt any of the dummies. I mean, we literally can just pick one of these... I feel like this one's the one to do and with this circuit the double pistons i mean we can't reach that really really tall shelf the 300 centimeter one or maybe we can no we're just short of that but we could reach all the other shelves and of course we could i guess stack a third piston and then we'd be able to reach even the higher ones but i feel like that just starts to get you know a little top heavy here we go let's grab this perfect let's don't hit the dummy back up all right excellent let's lower it down again all right, perfect, and we'll bring it in. Yeah, there we go, excellent, okay. Easy challenge, I love these logistics challenges, they're so much fun, and I mean, obviously, once you've built a forklift, it's pretty easy to just, uh, you know, continue using it. And I mean, don't hurt any dummies, we just gotta find the presence right there. Oh, it's behind, I see what they did, they put it behind a crate, no problem. We just gotta uh, be super, super careful here. Oh boy. Oh boy, excuse me. Yeah, we'll just move this out of the way. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right. Yep, nope, nope. Doesn't even matter. Look, just jam the boxes into the way. It doesn't matter. We didn't have to keep any of the boxes intact. And of course, don't hurt any... Oh! I was just about to run that guy off the road. da 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 Right. You can't turn quick with a forklift. All right, here we go. Just park. Nice! Logistics 3. is See, once you've got a good forklift, it seems like these are really, really easy. Alright, so deliver the washing machine undamaged to the truck. Stay on top of the locomotive for five seconds, not in yet. Okay, so that objective's not in yet, but you know what? I feel like we should try and do it anyways, uh, just because. And don't hurt any dummies and deliver the washing... What the heck is the washing machine? That's the washing machine! Where's the truck? Oh, that's the truck. Um... Uh, this is an interesting, interesting looking truck here. 
seems more like it's a oh oh and there's a camera up here how the heck are you even supposed to get up there oh drive around the back here okay gotcha don't hurt any dummies deliver the washing well there's a bunch of washing machines does it matter which one we pick probably not i'm pretty sure this one is is gonna be the quickest so we'll just line up here Go up. Watch these pistons aren't powerful enough to lift it. That's when you know we've got a problem. All right. Undamaged washing machine. Oh. Oh. The, uh, the forklift is, I think, still heavy enough. You know, we're going to push this down and bring it even closer to the forks if we can. Yeah, it definitely pulls it, but we still have traction, so I think we're okay. We just got to be slow. It might tip us forward a little bit. The metal is definitely an improvement. I mean, if you have metal compared to plastic, it, it makes such a difference in weight. It just makes your whole vehicle so much more stable. And I don't even feel like it affects your top speed all that much. The motors seem to have plenty of torque. It just makes doing stuff like this forklift a lot easier. We don't need any of those extra motors that we had originally in the first episode with, you know, all that extra weight. It's just completely unnecessary. Uh, here we go. All right, perfect. Um, what? Oh, okay. I guess the pistons are like the pistons in scrap mechanic. They don't have collision. Does the whole forks do though? Okay. This is, this is weird. You know, it's fine. Okay, we're good. Uh, I want to go get that extra cosmetic piece. Let's just drive around the back here. Hello, sir. I delivered your washing machine. It'd be cool if maybe you got like bonus points for delivering multiple washing machines or something. I mean, I know they have three. I guess that's just in case you wreck the first one. Let's head up here, though. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on, forklift. Yeah, we're good. So we're just going to wait here until the locomotive comes, and then we have to drive and land on it and somehow not hit any dummies. Okay. All right, here comes the train. We got to get on the locomotive. <gasps> oh, I did it. No! All right, let's try that again. I didn't realize you just literally drive right onto the locomotive. I thought there was going to be like a drop down or something. So we just need to line up straighter, I think. Oh, I don't think we're going to get this one. Come on, go. Nah, there's no way. All right, next one, next one. All right, here we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Maybe I should switch to like a buggy or a car rather than a forklift, but I feel like the forklift, we were there, we were riding it, but if you don't keep using the throttle, you, you don't move, like you don't ride the locomotive, so to speak. Your physics kind of stay where you are, which is a little weird, so the locomotive just moves underneath you, so I have to actually keep driving to keep up with it, at least it seems that way, maybe I'm crazy, but that's what I thought. We can try putting the brake on maybe when we get there this time. All right, here we go. On to the locomotive. Yeah, you definitely have to keep driving. Oh, this is easy though now. Yeah, if you press the brake, you just stop. Oh, no, I pressed the brake. See, I... Well, we're here now. All right, final attempt. Here comes the locomotive. Easy, drive on. No problem. Keep up, keep up. Don't press the brake. Don't press the brake. Oh, yeah. This is easily five seconds. Easily. And then look at this. We're gonna we're gonna do some crazy maneuver here to try and get off the locomotive. All right, can we just hopefully have it push us up and onto this platform? Is that is that gonna work? You can do it. Push us, push us. Maybe the car. Come on, trade car. Come. Oh boy. Well, it was close. All right, you know what? It's fine. We beat the level. No problem. We got the five-second achievement, even though it doesn't exist yet. Not really worried about that. And here we go. Finally beat all the current challenges. I can't wait for the devs to put in more challenges. I really hope we uh, we see a lot more of them. But I'm really excited to see what other challenges the devs come up with, because I think this game still has a lot of potential. And, of course, now that we've beaten all the challenges, we're definitely going to have to explore the, uh, the tundra and the flatland and just kind of build some crazy stuff. So let me know, of course, what you guys think in the comments 
down below and what kind of crazy builds do you want to see in main assembly i mean there's lots of stuff that i can think of that we haven't done yet i definitely want to play around with the active aerodynamics and the fact that you know you have to actually contour your car properly maybe try and make a race car that uses some aerodynamics properly as well as maybe make planes and stuff like that but of course i'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below and while you're at it hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time